What's up guys, this is Save Knight, and welcome to another Let's Play session. This game is brought to you by Shiro Games. And welcome to Evoland. Shink. Purchased on the, Go the game app GOG, G-O-G. Um, for, I think, a whopping, like, two, maybe three bucks, if that. Let me just click Opciones. Nope. Okay. Uh, essentially, this game is a parody on the evolution of video gaming, going back to the early days of black and white, limited, you know, scrolling functions, and almost like, you know, no graphics, very little music, or very basic music, to you know, all the way up to, you know, freaking, like, fully 3D rendered backgrounds and, you know, live orchestrated music and all that other happy shit with video games. And I'll, I'll explain along the way. Actually, I won't even explain. I'll just, you know, let you just watch the spazzy awesomeness. So here we go. You got right key. There seems to be some chests open this way. Can't move anything left. And yes, you're... Yeah, let me see. What am I seeing so far? Everything looks black and green and another shade of green and another shade of green again. Okay. You got left key because always going right is boring. You get 2D movement. That's good. You can't move anywhere else anyway. Um, essentially, pretty much. Very first games for Game Boy that came out, you actually couldn't move up or down, you could only move right. Maybe some left movement, but once it once the screen actually pans sideways, you're fucked, you can't move left again. It's like, yeah. Basic scrolling, you want to see where you're heading, right? Okay. And ow, my head, this brings you back to the days of Zelda 1, which I think that's where you see that crap. Like, the first time ever like, uh, it's called a uh, screen panning, or where you hit the edge of the screen and then it pans over to the next screen. What's this? Sound effects. Game is much more alive this way. Hear footsteps. What's this? Smoother scrolling. Will save you some headache. Also called auto scrolling. So, word. Word. Uh, not word. Woot. That came out kind of weird. You got a sword. You can kill monsters and cut down bushes. Press the select button or the start button. Easier for me to just press the select bush, bush. Go boom. Bush is back here. Easier to just, you know, hit select. Not select, goddammit, the space bar. Bush, 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 bush. Collect all the hidden stars of Evil Land. That's pretty much it so far. Can't really do anything. You have no menu screens, which how the fucking first ones came out didn't have. The fuck is that? Did I just... Yes, I fucking missed that. Son of a bitch. Bush. 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 Octorak. A new card to play Double Twin. Okay. Some kind of game or something. graphics so fucking remind me of, you know, Zelda Link's Awakening for the Game Boy. Damn. Care not to touch them. Yeah, you get hit by those, you instantly die. Music. Woot. Evil Land Tune stop topping the charts since 2012. And actually, yeah, some games, like this the very early um, Game Boy games, didn't have any music because it was just too fucking much to put in the damn game. Points an evolution that changed gaming forever. Yes, it fucking did. Password systems like in Guardian Legend, Vexanadu, Thur, I think Legacy of the Wizard, Star got another star. Other such games. Sometimes they were good bats, okay? Another card thing. We're just completely fucking that's not a word I want to use. Convoluted? No. Is it convoluted? I don't know if that's the right word I want to use. Um you they, they literally fucking, you know Yeah. I can't think 
that other word I want to fucking use either. Goddamn, my, my vocabulary has gone to shit the past couple of days. Oh, 16 colors. This, the 16 colors display. OMG, the color. Oh, shit. 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 Okay. Hit a fucking squid. Alright, let's go back this way to get these things. And no, we don't. Okay. Um. Like, example, Guardian Legend. They have, like, three letters that look almost the exact same. Like, their capital. Is it Guardian Legend or is it. Actually, yeah, Guardian Legend, but I don't remember how the password system worked for that. But I know, like, the zero and the. Like the large O look almost the exact same, and when you write down the password, make sure you fucking write that difference down. And that difference is actually the seek the uh, zero is like slightly more narrow. That's literally it. They just took like the they took one graphic and just kind of smooshed it to make it thinner, and you have a whole nother graphic. So if you look at it, it's like oh that looks like a zero. Nope. That's a, that's a large O. That's a capital O. Um, what the fuck am I doing? Sword. Did they kept it in his right hand? No, they didn't. Okay, right hand, right hand, right hand, left hand. Fuck. Okay, that's nothing here. Hey. Uh, excuse me. Belch. Xanadu was fucking bad like that. They're the same damn thing, basically, but, like, they tried to ride in this weird fucking, like, gothic style. Ooh, 256 colors. Real colors. Oh. Um. Wow, that made such a fucking difference. Eh, bet. Oh, no. Sign panel, because you can fucking read. Path reserved for agile adventure. Okay, I don't know what that means. Like, uh, like I was saying, Faxana do password system. I think the capital K and the, is it the capital K, no, the capital H and the capital N look almost the exact fucking same just because I don't know because fuck you, that's why. Free movement looks like it's time for some action adventure. The access has been blocked by the dimensional stone. Try the path to the east. Yay, free movement. Whoa, diagonality. Diagonally. 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 Movement. Your game saved. The shit is fucking monkey. What is this? That's that. You got inventory. Click tap to open it. You have nothing except a sword. Okay. Remember like that with a Stalfos, or whatever it's called. From Zelda. Got to hit it, not in the shield. And click. Find the world is always not beware of random encounters. Turn based battle, let's, let's change to a different battle style. Different fighting style. I guess. 
Gracias. Gorgeous when it was introduced back in 1990. I'm no fucking shit. I remember the first game to actually use this. God, I know 4 used it. But, uh, Final Fantasy 4, that is used it. But I remember what earlier system used it. I'm not sure there was, since that game came out in like fucking 1992. I don't know what other fucking games. Uh, this game came out later. Act no. I think Accurator 2 might have used it, but that didn't come out until I think like 93 or some shit. Places names, you want the names of places to travel to. This is a meadow. Prepubescent ass, God. Well, in the game, not in real for life. I as adult. Oh, 
Shit, damn it. That's a torque card. Card torque, whoops. The medium is the message by McLawin. Very fat. I don't know who that is either. The ultimate guide to everything by S. Miyamoto. I don't know who that is either. I don't get a lot of these references. I don't know these peoples and things. shove random things in your mouth hole. And now you've been aged up. What's all the kids in video games anyway? I mean, yeah. Like for example, Legacy of the Wizard. The only you if you've never played it before, it actually follows the um shit move. It, <gasps> I heard a lot of strange sounds coming out of the North Caves, okay? I heard a lot of noise coming out of your mom's room last night. Guys, visit us early. Is she a friend of yours? I don't fucking know what girl. Crystal Caves up north are a dangerous place. It said Kefka's ghost lives there. But no adventurers ever come back to tell us. If no one ever came back to tell you about it, how the fuck you know it's there? Things like that, too. I mean, it's like, oh, there's this big, powerful thing that lives there, but, you know, no one's ever. Everyone who's gone after has never come back. Well, how do you know that thing's there then? Strong monsters in the caves ahead. We won't let you pass through the current equipment. Okay. Oh, back to that fucking. That all of your chests not belong to us. I think it came out like 87 or 88 or maybe earlier than that. I don't fucking know. It was welcome to Papanika Village. Enjoy your stay with us. You're fucking bald. Fuck you. Um. One of the earliest translations from like English to. I mean, Japanese to English. Welcome to. Okay, bye. Shit. Damn. Say, 
all your bases now belong to us because it's because English and it says all your bases are now belong to us or all your base are now to us belong or some shit like that it's fucking jacked up and it's like okay it became like a thing for a while campus or the uh, TWU campus, you know, Texas Women's Campus, with my sister, and um, they have their gaming department, they actually sit there and help design, like, things for games, and that's like, they have a giant fucking poster with that shit plastered on their back wall, the original Japanese thing, uh, whatever the game that was from. Or maybe not. They're like fucking taking off 11. Okay. 500, that's more than enough. To get these things. And, um. Oops, I'm gonna go ahead and just buy this thing. What is it? Longsword. Damn it, rare card. Okay, potion, I guess HP Phoenix down, I guess. Resurrectifying. Uh, when we come back, I'm gonna go and, um, I guess just pick up where this left off at. Might just grind a little bit just to get a few more potions. I don't have anyone with me, so I don't need a Phoenix down. And get that rare card. So, until next time, this is Save Night on Let's Play Evil Land. See y'all later, guys. Bye.